Well, hello, y'all. Hope you all are doing well. Have I got some dirt for you all? Literally, I have a ton of dirt in my house for y'all. My house, like, kind of fell apart last week. You would think, with my kids being gone, that it would have stayed clean. I am um, accepting that and realizing, no, realizing and accepting that I am the biggest source of mess in my house. Um, and that's just really how it is. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. I just come in and I am a tornado. Oh, one of the biggest issues, too, is I'm like, I'll just get it. I'll just get it. I say that all the time. I'll just get it. Because, you know, husband works full time. I work part time. Um, now, granted, oh, let me tell you guys what I'm doing specifically here. I wanted ribs. I saw an infomercial. I was getting my nails about ribs. And asked Jeremy if he makes some. So when he was off on Wednesday, he made ribs. And they were amazing. But this is the mess that was left over. He would have cleaned up. He started to clean up. I told him, no, I'll get it. Um, so I used some Donda greaser to get this up. And I did the whole Ari Katarina method. That's what my little dance is right here about it. I had some plastic wrap and I put it over that. And I'm going to just let it soak. So I don't know why that rag's in there. I have absolutely no idea. So anyway, my kids were gone. Um, my husband worked Monday and Tuesday. and He was off Wednesday. I worked Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, which I don't normally do. I normally work Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays, I, you know, do stuff around the house, finish up homeschool odds and ends, you know, my kids are pretty much on an um, independent curriculum. Um, my kindergartner does still need help, which we do his homeschool in the evening, and then we do a little bit of extras on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, but he does go all year round, and that's why. But anyway, so we didn't have any of that to worry about this week. So I thought, oh, well, it won't be anything to just tidy up a little bit in the evening. I was wrong. Um, and I'm also realizing how blessed I've been the last couple years. Um, I have to drive an hour to work um, in the morning and then in the afternoon. And I don't get off until about 5 o'clock, sometimes 5.30, because we have this uh, a treatment team type thing in the evening um, that takes a little bit sometimes, depending on how many people we're seeing. And... Uh, so I didn't get home till like 6 30. Um, so I'll be honest. And when I got home, cleaning was the last thing on my mind. I ate the amazing meal my husband gave me and I told him, I was like, you know what? Don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. And then Tuesday came around and I did the exact same thing. And then Wednesday came around and I tidied up a little bit, but not a lot. And then, so I was like Thursday morning when we got ready to go and leave, I started trying to clean up and stuff. And then I realized that I had a few little things from work that I wanted to make sure that I had taken care of before I left because I wouldn't be able to see my clients until Monday. So, you know, there just be things there. And then we had to get on the road. So it just piled up, piled up, piled up. And I tell you what, I'm terrible, y'all. I'm like a, a teenager. We can blame it on my ADHD. And almost is kind of an insult to my teenagers because they do a better job at cleaning up after themselves. I go into a room and I just, everything, my clothes are on the floor, pillows are on the floor. I do not pick up after myself as I go along. And I, I just, it's very frustrating to me because I'm finding that if I'm not busy, cleaning isn't that difficult. But to actually take the time and effort to put it into my schedule, like days on this when I am busy, it is... I know I'm being dramatic and this is like a first world problem, but it's a real struggle to find any desire to do it like when I've got other stuff going on. So y'all that work full time, shoo, I don't know how you do it. Um, I really don't. Um, and my husband's like, well, you know, just clean as you go. And sometimes I can do that. And other times I'm like, I just want to sit down. I just want to lay down. I'm just tired. I'm just, I'm not, I don't know. I guess I'm just the queen of excuses. So on to the specifics of what I'm doing, I'm just putting up stuff that I wash my hand, um, just kind of finishing up this countertop. This is the, the, what you saw first was Thursday, and this is when we came back Friday afternoon. So we realized we had to go to the grocery store and get groceries because it was Kroger's Friday fuel point. So we want to make sure we got, you know, got a little bit of that. This is Pine Saw in a spray bottle um, that I just went over and then obviously wiped down with the rag. So I am, um, I'm not necessarily old fashioned um, in like the roles of men and women. It's just worked out this way that I've been the one that stayed at home and cleaned and did the homeschooling and stuff with the kids. But as I've come back to work, 
you know, my husband has taken over a few other things in the house. Dinner has been the biggest thing and been the number one thing that I've been um, most relieved about. Um, I have just at the point, I don't enjoy cooking dinner anymore. He really enjoys cooking. Um, so it really wasn't, you know, everybody, it was, it felt like everybody wins and he's a really good cook. Um, so anyway, and for the record, he would have cleaned all this up. I just thought it'd make a really good video and I wanted to do it because he was so sweet to make dinner for me. But as I work more, you know, um, my actual work shifts have been turning into nine plus hours. Um, I'm only there three days a week, but uh, I really love my job. It's very important. I would eventually like it to be full time when the kids are older. Um, not right this moment, but anyway. So there's a lot of things in the house on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays when I'm gone that my husband kind of takes over just a little bit. Um, but there's a lot of things too that have been building up. And I usually do take care of them on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so it's not even really like I'm not, I'm giving everything up. But um, I do have to accept that there are a lot of duties in the house that um, I need help with. I can't do it all on my own, especially on weeks like this. So, all right, but on to the cleaning. Um, that's not changing my channel or anything. I just noticed like, does it, I don't know. I just, I have to accept the help. So we have those pink products that I bought last week. And the first one that I'm gonna use is the cream cleanser. I am not a fan of cream cleansers for the record. I think they leave too much residue. I don't like to clean with any of them. I've used Barkeeper's Friend. Um, I used the one from Mrs. Myers, um, and they're all okay. This one is a little bit runnier than the others. Um, it worked okay. I have no complaints as far as the cream cleanser goes. I will not buy it again just because I don't use cream cleansers. Um, it is a little bit easier to work with than like if you were to use like the Barkeeper's Friend powder, which that is always a ridiculous mess for me too. I don't like to use that stuff either. I will stick with the original pink paste um, when it comes to the, or pink stuff when it comes to this. I don't necessarily regret buying it because I didn't figure I would use it again either, but um, I'd give it a three out of five. It did clean well. I just don't like all the extra buffing and and work that comes with it because y'all know when I go to clean my sink I just really like to use my bleach I'm not too concerned about it being shiny I just want it sanitized because there's going to be stuff that goes right back into it um, I used it on my stove too again it was okay I prefer the pink stuff again to clean with on my stove I have never used power paste um, the, the cleanser did it did pretty well um, now, I do have to say, it did not do as well as Barkeeper's Friend did, and it didn't do as well as the regular pink stuff does. Um, so, I would give this a 2 out of 5. Um, the price, it was pretty expensive. I think this one was $7. Um, and, I mean, you don't have to use a lot. I think I used way too much. And I had to go back over it two or three times when I was finished because it left that residue. Um, again, the pink stuff in the container that's like a putty-like stuff works the best, in my opinion, on my stove. Y'all, I'm still talking about the Creed Cleanser. I didn't switch products in between, and I realized I gave it two different ratings. So overall, I'm going to backtrack on it and give it a two and a half out of five stars. And the reason I'm doing that is because it takes a lot of time to clean it up, and it doesn't clean up the, like, watermarks and everything else near as well as the original pink stuff does. So the, And the price, I think, is a little bit too high for it. But again, two and a half out of five. Because you all can see where I've got all those spots. Normally when I use the pink stuff, I can scrape it right all up. It'll come up. Or even just the Dawn Power Wash. So my countertop wasn't too bad, but I had already cleaned it up twice, y'all. I'm, I'm getting bad about this again. I need to be aware. I'm really trying to make a conscious effort to put stuff where it belongs. I don't know what's wrong with me that I can't just do it, but I don't know. Hopefully I'll just eventually one day it'll click. I'm almost 40, so who knows? Maybe by the time I'm 50. I need to rephrase it and not say can't because I can't. I'm perfectly able of putting things back up where they are. Capable, not able. Perfectly capable of putting things back where they belong. I just don't. So the answer is I don't know why I won't do it. Because all this mess on the table is when I came back from the store and just dropped it all on the table. Like just didn't even bother to put it up, which I should have. It would have taken me like maybe five minutes, maybe ten minutes. Who knows? Um, but I'm not going to criticize myself. Well, I mean, I already just did, but I'm not going to continue to. I will be thankful for the progress that I've made and the fact that my house being that trashed and it taking as little time as it did to get it clean is a huge step 
when we think about where I've came from just a year ago. Okay, so here's my bedroom though. Again, uh, it, it's messy. See, look at that. Look at that. I just threw my clothes on the floor. I'm even going to point it out like a little kid. Like, seriously. Now, obviously, I can't throw it in my hamper because my hamper's full of clean clothes that needed folded that I had drugged from the laundry room. So, I don't know. But what we're going to focus on right now is my bathroom. Excuse me, y'all. Got the hiccups a little bit, I guess. Threw my clothes on the floor in here when I could have just thrown them into the other pile of dirty clothes. Again, I don't know what's going on. My husband's like, do you need me to do laundry? And of course, I was like, no, I'll just do it. And he wasn't like mad or frustrated because my husband just, he just is such an easy go with the flow type of guy. But I could tell he was getting a little concerned about the clothes. And he asked me a couple times, like, you sure you don't want me to do some laundry? And I was like, no, I'll get it. I'll get it. And y'all, I didn't realize until I watched the video that part of that had fell off the back, um, that tile that I put on there. I was like, no, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. By the time I got to the laundry, I had like seven loads. I guess I'm going to re-show you guys my mess. This was the next day. Okay. So yeah, again, we had gotten back. Nothing had gotten finished. Um, continued to get messy. So we're going to actually try and tackle this. But, you know, let's say something positive, Erica. It took me 15 minutes to get my room back in order. That included getting all the clothes to where they needed to be, not fold and put up, because I do that at the end of the video, but getting my room back to an order that, you know, I was comfortable walking in here and it didn't stress me out. So that in itself is progress. <sighs> I definitely have not made progress as far as throwing things on the floor goes. Maybe I'm not throwing near as much, or maybe I still am throwing as much. I'm just cleaning it up more frequently. Um, whatever it is, I am. I am doing something. I just wish I wouldn't have weeks like this or days like this where it gets this messy. But I don't think anybody does. Does anybody enjoy really having a messy house? So, you know, this is the human side of it. We do have, it wasn't a bad week. It was just a busy week and I didn't know how to manage it. My dog Trixie chewed my boot. I, I was frustrated. She had been, the dogs that stayed outside, uh, my husband had let them in and had gone outside for five minutes and I came in and in that time she had managed to get my boot and chew it up. She's been really well about new chewing stuff up but this nope nope she was not. I meant to say she's been really good about it. She's done really well. I do know how to use the word. <laughs> okay so all right y'all who struggles with mail and papers? I'm blessed by the fact that we live in a digital age and I don't have to keep a lot of things anymore. And a lot of things don't come in the mailbox that I have to feel pressured to keep. Fortunately, one of the ways that I, fortunately, I didn't need to add that word in there. I also don't need to add this little blibbit about saying that I don't need to add the word. But we're going to do that anyway because I like for y'all to hear how my mind works sometimes. So, uh, the way that I, what do you say, balance the mail thing, that I try to anyway, is we have a post office box. Um, we can't really get things in our mailbox anymore because it is away from our house and we do have a problem with theft. So when I go to the post office, if time is on my side, I will go through my mail right there and toss any extra mail that is just junk mail. I hate that I can't recycle it, but um, if you guys are not familiar with the area that I live in, it is not a very recycle friendly area. I hate to say that. Um, it is not convenient to recycle here. Uh, where I live, they don't even offer the bins or anything so uh, I'm not proud of the fact that I have to just throw it away but that is how it goes now when I can't go through my mail immediately if it doesn't sit and just uh, you know simmer in the bottom of my car then it comes home and it goes and it lives in a bag and then it lives in a bag until I get frustrated and realize I need to go through the bag now I am told this is an ADHD thing so if it is, well, thanks ADHD. I really appreciate that. I don't enjoy going through bags or baskets, but I do, as you can see here, do the same thing with baskets. Um, I don't know what papers to keep. Is there a list out there, y'all? If there is, please, 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 please send me a link of what papers you are supposed to keep. Um, half the time I end up shredding in any information like old mortgage statements and that type of stuff because I know I can access all of that online. I do keep property taxes. Um, the receipts for that. I keep all of our taxes. Um, I was told that you keep those indefinitely. Um, any type of court issues like divorce papers, that type of stuff, I've kept that. But 
what else? What else are you supposed to keep, y'all? Insurance papers? Do you keep your old policy records? I know you keep your current ones. Somebody, y'all, I, I want a list. I want y'all to fill up my comment sections with what papers that you feel are important to keep. Because I need some help. Because I end up either keeping them all or I throw them all away. So again, my bathroom is messy, not as bad as it had been, so this is definitely progress, but it's still too messy for a grown adult. But that's okay, we're going to clean it up, get it all tidied. I am going to use the pink window cleaner, the pink toilet bowl foamy thing, and then the bathroom cleaner. I forgot I'd already used the bathroom cleaner, but I think I meant to buy the um, like multi-purpose spray. That's the only thing out of theirs now that I haven't used. The bathroom cleaner is okay. I don't mind it. Um, I won't buy it again. I don't hate it though. I'd give it a three out of five. It does, it does pretty well. Um, I just, my bathroom needs like bleach, I think. The foam stuff was fun to watch. It did a very good job, but again, I'm not going to buy it again. Now, this window cleaner is fantastic. I really, really liked it. Um, I have to say, it definitely can compete with Spray Away. Um, now, this is the only time I've used it, so we'll ask me again, you know, here in a couple videos. But from this first time, it got it all clean. The smell is what got me though. It's got a vinegar and a rose smell to it. Now, I have never used anything that had vinegar in it before. Um, I've never made my own cleaners or anything like that. So I don't know if it's supposed to smell that strong. It doesn't linger though. So anyway, I would definitely recommend this if you guys are wanting to try it. I'm gonna try it on some more stuff um, in next week's video. The price was fairly good too. Um, so we'll see. The spray away stuff is really strong in my opinion as well. So, you know, but we'll, we'll do a video. You know what? You guys remind me and I'll try to do like a comparison, like clean one window with spray away and one with the pink stuff. Like I was really, really impressed. Um, it's definitely much better than Windex. Um, and yeah, I'm going to go ahead and be, be bold or whatnot and compare it to spray away. It's really good. Um, again, the smell was what got me, but I don't know how vinegar products are supposed to smell. I mean, I guess I would assume vinegar is very strong, so that makes sense to me. Um, anyway, the spray st or the foamy stuff that I'll put here in the toilet in a minute ago, it was fun, but I am not about anything that I have to come back in an exact amount of time and take care of because I just honestly, I'm not that type of person that can do well. I'll set a timer and stuff, but it's just not me. Okay, so I'm cleaning off this thing. It's not as bad again as it has been. That is not bacon. Those are bacon gummies that I bought as a gag gift for Jeremy and they're just floating around. Um, I'm hanging up all these clean clothes that I didn't hang up from last time. They just sat there on top. So I don't know y'all. I don't know why I did that. I just sifted through them and warmed to work and then what was left I hung back up. So So all you do with this stuff is you dump it in the toilet, let it foam. If you need to swirl it around with the brush to get up there, then you do that. I mean, it's okay. Again, I think it was like seven or eight bucks for two of them. And then it says you're supposed to come back after 10 minutes and then just blush. Y'all, that's just not my thing. That's fine. I just, I'm one of those people, I'm going to be distracted, even if I got a timer. So, um, it, but it was okay. It, it did clean the toilet very, very well. I will give it that, um. My toilet wasn't really that bad. I do clean it on a regular basis because, you know, I've got, well, you're supposed to clean your toilet regularly anyway. And I have a six year All right, y'all, so. here's my Kroger haul. It's just me and Jeremy this week. So we got a little bougie. Jeremy's gonna be making these ribeyes tonight. I got my nails done. Um, they were on sale for $8.51 and $7.67. I got stuck at the nail salon and they had uh, that Emerald Lagasse, whatever his pans are. Anyway, they have that whole big thing on, and he made ribs, and they looked amazing. So Jeremy's going to make them on his day off this week. Uh, the ground beef was on sale for $4 for that whole thing. I got us some sugar-free root beer, some butter, some onions, some Crispix because I'm going gluten-free. This didn't say it was gluten-free, but I read the ingredients, and it's corn and rice, so I'm assuming it is. 
It just might be one of those things that's like made in a facility with gluten. Um, if you guys don't know, potato chips are gluten-free for the most part. So these were on sale. Well, they were supposed to be on sale. I'm not normally one to go back and get a refund or something, but they were like ringing up $6 a piece. So I went back and I got a refund for the difference. Um, gluten-free meant Oreos, avocados, and mushrooms. So this was before I went back and got $7.50. It was $82.39, and I had $21.05 in coupons. So then you add the $7.50 to that, that take off, and um, that's what I had. Plus, I got a discount on here that should have come off a long time ago, but it'll be all right. So anyway, that's what we got. All right, y'all. So I wasn't going to do another food haul this week, but y'all get two. So Jeremy and I got back from our trip and then realized we had to go to the grocery store. Kroger was doing their four times the fuel points. If you guys don't know, um, Kroger does this thing where, you know, every so every when you buy at Kroger, you get points and then you can use it at their gas station. So this saves us about a dollar off the gallon um, every so often. Anyway, sorry. Um, so my husband's in the back getting trying to cook dinner, but I'm going to do this haul. So anyway, that's why we had to shop on Friday. Um, and then I also had a ton of coupons. So my grand total was $146.45. I saved $78.49 in coupons So and their sales. So I'm going to try to go over everything real quickly because some of these were just too good to, to really pass up. Okay, so these, these are like my favorite bars in the world. They are, they were $1.49 a piece. They're normally $3 a piece if you got five. Jeremy's Pro, Box, Pro Max bars, protein bars, they were $1.25. The milk was on sale for $2.79. These weren't on sale, um, but I wanted some sausage. I like to put syrup on my sausage. And if you guys know, I don't know, I've gone back to gluten-free again. It's supposed to be good for an ADHD um, and PMS. And something else. What was the third thing I told you it was good for? I don't know. It's good for something else. I'm Hopefully my memory. Um, bananas, because we always get bananas. Have no clue how much those were. These, I had a 60 cent coupon if you bought two. They did not have my honey, but we liked crunchy, so that was okay. This was on sale for $2.29. It was the digital thing. These weren't on sale. Jeremy just needed some. This wasn't on sale either. Jeremy needed some of that, or we all need the, I don't, but the kids like ranch. These, I love these. I've been taking these to eat uh, for lunch because a lot of times I've been working through my lunch and I don't have time to eat. So the dates on them are good. They were just marked down. So yay, I got several of those. These are really good. Um, my yogurts, y'all know I gotta have my yogurts, 10 for $6. Um, this was just another one of these. These were a great deal. We really like the Zatarins. Hey, somebody educate me. Tell us how we pronounce these. Is it and and do we? I don't know. We're just gonna call them um, New Orleans sausage. But we got these. They were a dollar ninety nine uh, for five of them. A do, no, a dollar ninety nine each. And you can get up to five of them. This was on sale too, and we had a coupon for sixty cents off, so it came to like a dollar sixty nine. I don't know how much the Brussels sprouts and the asparagus they were but Jeremy said he would learn how to cook them for me he is all about that lately and I am very grateful for it um these were on sale for $1.99 each plus I had a 60 cent coupon when you bought two of them this I don't know how much the green apples were I want to say they were $5.99 and I had a dollar coupon so they ended up being $4.99 this was four dollars a pound and it's normally like $8.99 a pound plus I had a dollar 25 cent coupon this was $8.14 on sale. These were a dollar a piece. I'm not eating these, but my kids love these. Um, and I don't normally let them get this because these are the bougie ramen noodles. We just like the ones in the bag. So my kids are gonna think we're fancy this week. This was on sale plus a coupon. These were on sale marked down, but the expiration date was, was great. These are more of these. Uh, these were $1.69 a piece, and then I had a 60 cent coupon off. Um, I don't know how much these were. They weren't on sale, but I got those for Joe. 
These were $3.99. Jeremy got fresh jalapenos. I'm not sure for what. I think he was going to get them for a London broil, but they didn't have any. This, I've never seen this before. It's kicking crab salad. That was marked down, so I figured I'd eat some of that. Um, Kroger, I wasn't planning to get gluten-free white bread, but Kroger has their own brand now, so I thought I'd give that a shot. This was freaking expensive. It was $7 for this, but I want a brownie, and I want one so bad, and I know I need to be gluten-free, so it's just going to be me and Jeremy eating these, um, but I like this brand. It's really good. Gluten-free sweets are usually really tasty. The problem is the calorie content, because it will call for an insane amount of butter. Like my kids actually prefer gluten-free cookies because of the crazy amount of butter in them. Um, these were on sale, I think for $1.79 a piece. And then I had a coupon, so I got this for Joe. Um, I got my yogurt. This is not yogurt. This is a complete opposite of yogurt. It's ice cream um, to go with my brownies. These grapes just looked amazing. And I had a coupon for 70 cents or a dollar off the pounds. So I don't know how much that was. And these were on sale for $1.99. With Kroger, you can combine your coupons. Jeremy got these. They were on sale for $3.99 a piece. I have no idea what they are. What are you going to use these cooking things for? The marinade? For Jeremy's going to use these for meat. Pork chops and our apple sauce. Um, ooh, these look really good. This for cracked chicken, just in case. Jeremy says, hey, can I get this? And I said, if you're going to cook, you can buy whatever seasonings you want. So he got this. I don't know how much it was, but it really doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, I think this was a great food haul. We got a ridiculous amount. We saved 140, whatever the total was, was after the coupons. So our bill was 200 and some before they started tick, 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 everything off. So anyway, this was Kroger and yeah, that's my haul. Okay, y'all, so you know if the laundry's out, it is towards the end of the video. These normally go a little bit longer, but it's, uh, I thought with as many clothes as I needed to fold, it would look really cool to go super, super fast. So I didn't tell you guys we went to Harlan, Kentucky uh, for a couple days. I live in the tri-state area. Um, if you guys are familiar with the area at all. So uh, I'm not going to give out my exact address or anything. I am very, very much into coal heritage, um, Appalachian culture, all of that. It was a minor in college and it's something I am extremely passionate about. Um, it sparked uh, part of my passion for wanting to work in the um, drug addiction, substance abuse uh, area uh, field. Um, that's not the main reason, but that has a lot to do with it. Um, I think you can look back into a lot of those histories, specifically coal, um, in the area that we live in, and you can kind of tie our present problems together with our past problems. But that's for a whole nother discussion. Um, so anyway, that's where we went. I also absolutely love the show Justified, um, and it is based off of Harlan County, even though it wasn't technically filmed in Harlan County. There's Harlan County and there's Harlan City, and I went to both. It was amazing. We toured a coal museum. Um, I don't live in Kentucky. I was born in Kentucky, but I don't live in Kentucky. It's about, Harlan was about a four hour drive for us. Um, it was absolutely awesome. So anyway, that's what we did. Um, I am a huge Appalachian history nerd, um, specifically uh, the Union, UMWA, that type of stuff. Uh, I love all of that. So anyway, um, I hope wherever y'all are at, you are having a blessed one. I absolutely cannot wait to see you in the next one. I love you all. You guys are wonderful. I hope you enjoyed my video and I'll see y'all next week. Bye.